guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a room tour. I wanted to call it a reptile room tour, however there are other animals in here that aren't just reptiles, but for the majority it's reptiles so this is my animal room tour, also known as my bedroom. I'm actually going to start out in the hallway where I keep my green anole, who is not all that green right now. This is Esme. He is about five years old. I got him when I was in fifth grade and now I'm in 10th grade. Um, I actually got him on my birthday, which is in March, so he's not quite five years old, but just about there. Um, and yeah, that's, that's Esme. So then you walk into my room, and sorry about these, they're actually hammocks hanging from my bed. <laughs> um, to the right, when you first walk into my room, is my ball python, Pete. Pete the python. This is his entire tank. It's very large. <laughs> um, I've had him for only about a year and a half. He is like 10 years old, though. Um, you can't really, I mean, you can see that he's in there. Sorry, you can't get a better view of him. I don't really feel like bothering him right now, though. Moving on from Pete is my bearded dragon, Sam. I got her when she was a baby, and I've had her for four years. She is in a 40-gallon breeder, and I know it's messy right now, but she just ate a salad and kind of, you know, threw all the lettuce all over the place. But that's her. She's lazy and fat, but she's so cute. So then you have my desk with a piano on it, and above that is the hermit crab tank. There's one of them. That one is Hermie. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to find Coral, which is the other one. Uh, she likes to hide a lot and always buries herself in the dirt here. Um, but yeah, this is the hermit crab tank. I haven't even had these guys for a year. I got them over spring break um, in April, and now it's October, so not even a year yet. Um, I would like to make a disclaimer that I am aware that their shells are painted. So is corals. Hers is painted blue, and I know that that's not good for them. I have other shells in there that they can switch into that aren't painted. I would just like to make that very clear that I'm aware that painted shells aren't good. So then, um, you move down, and we have Squirt. This is my red-eared slider. Oh, I don't know if you can see him. There you go. He's like under this, so it's like shadowy, but... Oh, he might come out for us. Come on, Squirt. I made an entire video on Squirt, on how to take care of red-eared sliders so if you're interested in that you can go check that one out but yeah this is squirt i've had him for a little over a year now a year and a couple months um moving on from squirt is my leopard gecko timmy he's sleeping i've had timmy for around two months um so he's very brand new to the Simon Zoo, um, and I love him so much already. I'm so obsessed with him. He's so cute and so fun to watch. Other disclaimer I would like to make is I know that red heat lamps aren't great for leopard geckos. I'm going to get him in under the tank heater, and I know that also sand isn't the greatest. I'm going to be putting him on reptile carpet. Hi, Timmy. He woke up. Sorry I was talking so loud, bud. Moving on from Timmy, I have my dresser, which is like the only piece of furniture I have in my bedroom that does not have a reptile on it. Um, and then we have this huge tank. It is six feet long, four feet tall, and three feet wide. I don't know how many gallons that would be, but that's the dimensions. Um, it houses my Chinese water dragon. His name is Lefty, and that's because he is missing his left eye water dragons are actually supposed to be in more of a vertical tank however because this is four feet tall it is tall enough for him and once he gets bigger I will be moving him into a more vertical tank so this is lefty I wanted to show you guys his eye that is the eye that he's missing so the reason why he only has one eye 
is because the people I got him from uh, had him in a 10 gallon tank with a bearded dragon and the bearded dragon actually attacked him and ate his eye and it also bit off a few of his toes. Thank you guys for watching my video. I know it was somewhat short, especially compared to some of my other videos. I really just wanted to make this video because I'm going to be moving rooms pretty soon here. My brother just moved away to college, so I'm going to be moving into the basement where his bedroom used to be, and my little brother will be coming into this room. So I wanted to show you guys how I had things set up in this room before I moved down to the basement. And I will make another one of these videos once I'm down there and all settled in so that you can see what it's like down there. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can look at my awesome room too. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.